This video is on importing NetCDF files. Our starting point is the session data from four sites in Germany. They were downloaded from the German Weather Service Open Data Server. The resulting R file is in the R insert library. This is the file saved at the end of the previous video. Either continue or use the file called germany 4 stationsrds The locations on the stations are needed to extract the corresponding satellite data. They are in the second data frame as shown here. Showing two decimals for the location variables is useful. This uses the column metadata. That's better. Two decimal places are now visible. Click on the curly arrow to close the metadata. Examining this data, the latitudes are all between 53.6 and 54.8 degrees and latitudes are from 11.3 to 13.5 degrees. That defines the area to request in downloading sunshine duration data from the EUMET SAT CMSAF. The satellite data obtained from the CMSAF was supplied in a zipped TAR file. Since it is 350 megabytes, we provide a separate download link in the description box rather than in the R Instat library. Once downloaded, extract the individual files into a new directory using any unzipping software. See the description box for a link to get a free unzipping tool. The number of files is large. This is because we obtain daily data and CMSAF then provides one file per day. If you'd like to learn how to download CMSAF data yourself, see the link in the description box for a tutorial. Here are the details for the request that was made to obtain the data from CMSAF. You can see the time period selection, subdomain area, and product details. Importing this data uses a dialog on the file menu. It is also on the climatic menu if you prefer. There are multiple files to import. So use the browse folder button and choose the directory. There are nearly 11,000 files. That's one file per day for the 30 years. Do not try to import the whole file, at least not yet. This is too large because it is for all points in the area. Instead, click on the Options button to choose a subset to import. This provides the information from the file for the first day, namely 1st January 1983. It also confirms we have the data for the right area. There are three options here and we need the middle one, called points to extract multiple points based on the location information for each station. The data selector is now available and we add the locations and names of the stations. Now, return to the main dialog. We change the name to Germany underscore SAT. Now, press OK and make yourself a coffee, a large coffee. R is now extracting the four grid points from 11,000 files, so you need patience. Aha! It is halfway. Now it's nearly there. 
at last it worked. That took about five minutes on my machine. The three most important variables are the station, the date, and the estimated sunshine hours called SDU. The 11,000 files have produced nearly 44,000 rows of data. So, each file produced the four values for a given day. For example, on 2nd January 1983, the sunshine was estimated as 4.8 hours at Arcona and 2.3 hours at Griffsvalt. There are a few missing values in the satellite data as shown here. Not many and mostly in the earlier years. The next step is to merge the station and the satellite estimates and that's for the next video. Finish here by saving the three data frames as a single RDS file. Finally, you may be curious to know what happens if you press OK to import all the data from the EU MetSat files. Well, it is a bit faster because it doesn't have to choose those points from each file. Then the resulting data frame is like this. There are now almost 12 million rows of data and 1,080 stations or grid points each day. Some machines may run out of memory at this point. We can see there was estimated to be no sun on 1st January anywhere in this area, but 2nd January did have some sun. A summary of the data shows they are to the end of 2012. There are 96,000 missing values, so that's about 90 days over the 30 years. But it is time to return to our main task, which uses just the four points rather than the 1,080.